no matter the location. From OAKLA to LV, I'm a Raider. Raiders mailbag time presented by Manscaped. Y'all know what to do. Go to manscaped.com slash Raiders. 20% off and free shipping on the best male grooming products. Make it easier for you because I've never said manscaped.com slash Raiders before. I'll put the link in the comments and in the description. Go support our sponsors because they make this show possible. Tyler, you're first up here, my dude. And uh, since your picture kind of matches my cup, I'm going to take a sip. My first question that goes on the show was, are you happy we got rugs instead of lamb? Initially, no, and I'll be 100% honest with y'all. I wanted CeeDee Lamb over Henry Ruggs. I thought he fit the offense a lot better. So what I'm hoping is that the Raiders use him a lot like a Tyree Kill and move him all over the football field. And, I mean, I live here in Dallas. I got to listen to Tom talk about the Cowboys all the time. So I am really, really hoping Henry Ruggs outplays CeeDee Lamb. Jacob T., what's up, my brother? Thoughts on Eric Reed? My opinion is that he's only safety worth getting if we sign another one unless we trade for his safety okay who we trade for if we do though um well i don't think any trades are going to happen i think the raiders have done their trades and apparently they like to trade with the miami dolphins but in terms of like eric reed yes i do actually agree that eric reed to me is a safety that i would absolutely target had 130 tackles last year is a little bit more of a strong safety a lot like jonathan abram but there is no reason that eric reed is should still be unsigned because he definitely has the talent to start on a lot of teams and i mean he played on carolina last year why not bring him in, see what he can do, at least maybe give us a little bit of insight to Carolina. Sure, it's a um, totally new team, but at the end of the day, I do think Eric Reed would help this defense a lot. So will the Raiders sign a free agent? Type Y for yes, or I want you to type N for no. And if you want to ask me some free agency questions, hey, I'm all for it. That's what I'm here for. Uh, will the Raiders sign a free agent? Y for yes, N for no. I see Devin Renudas typing yes, Jacob T typing yes. We have uh, Matt Solomon, a lot, a lot of yeses. So if that's what y'all think, I expect a lot of free agency questions. All right, Tetra Hydro, I don't know, something THC. Did we cut Mariota? No, the Raiders did not cut Mariota. They just placed him on the IR. In fact, cutting Mariota doesn't make any sense. I believe it would cost the Raiders about $13 million to do that. So he's on the IR. He's going to be out likely three weeks, and I would expect him to come back maybe week four if he's fully healthy. But he's out right now with a pectoral injury. So, yeah, we'll see with Mario. Alex Thompson, what's up? Are you going to stream the game? Kind of. So I'm going to be doing a watch party. And if you all want to join the watch party, just click that big red button that says subscribe. We'll keep you up to date on, like, stats. Uh, we'll be able to show you play-by-play. -play. We'll do analysis. It's going to be a lot like the Raiders game. So if you do want a watch party, if you want a, um, I guess, what's a good way to explain it? I don't know, play-by-play -play of the game, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It'll be a lot better than me explaining what it is. I promise you that. All right, you said 89. Abram will lead the team in interceptions this season. I say he'll get at least four or five. As much as I love Jonathan Abram, I personally don't uh, actually believe that. I, if you would ask me who could be a dark horse player to lead the team in tackles, I would actually say Jonathan Abram at safety, maybe around like 100, 110 tackles. I'll still put my money on Krakowski or you know Littleton to lead the team. But uh, Abram is not so much of an interception type player. I would say the player is most likely to lead the team in interceptions. Probably going to be Trayvon Mullen. Maybe LaMarcus Joyner if he can get his shit together. But I also say LaMarcus because he's probably going to get targeted a whole bunch. All right, next question coming in from Glenn Nicholson. Don't we need a better backup running back to spell Josh Jacobs? So right now the only running backs on the roster are Devontae Booker, Jalen Rashard is going to be your pass catching back, and after they traded Lynn Bowden Jr., which I know a lot of y'all aren't, aren't excited about, I do give credit, though, to Mike Mayock for saying, hey, it was on me. It was a football decision. We didn't think he fit very well. But in a perfect world, no, because in a perfect world, Josh Jacobs is fully healthy, able to run the football. Devontae Booker comes in maybe like, I don't know, five, ten snaps a game to give him a little bit of a breather. If you're going to pass the football – on a two-minute drill, you go with Jalen Richard. Fingers crossed that nothing does happen to Josh, but if you are looking for better backup running backs, I mean, you could also think about, you know, Derry OG, who they just also signed. All right, so now, you, now what I want you to do is name a free agent the Raiders should sign, and I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video. So if you're thinking about a player that you want the Raiders to go out and sign, scroll on down while you're getting with that YouTube ad break and let me know. All right, Guy D., 
interesting name. How did Wilbur get the captain's patch? I, I think it's because he was a special teams captain last year. The team knows him well. Also, special teams coordinator Rich Versace was really, really high on Wilbur because, remember, Wilbur was also a Dallas Cowboys player. Versace liked him a lot. It's one of the reasons why the Raiders signed him last year. So Yes, he didn't make the initial 53, but they have a lot of faith in him, so that's how he got a captain's patch. Liam, what's up? What do you think to the amount of rookies beating out vets during training camp? Does Gruden have faith in the rookies? or is he trimming cap space? Does, do, does this team have faith in the rookies? Yes. Are they trying to get something else going? Yes. My only concern is that it doesn't result in winning football games. And I think a lot of people want to sit here and tell me that the Raiders are in win-now mode, but a lot of these moves actually, to me, don't say that they are in win-now mode. They are in a window of maybe two to three years down the road where we can get the best out of our young guys right now see what they are, then when it comes to their paydays later on, then we know who we need to pay and who we need to let go. So for me, is there faith in the young players? Yes, but we can't honestly think that every single class that we have is going to be like 2019. Because if every single class is like 2019, this team is onto a dynasty. But that's not how it works in the NFL. So I'm actually a little bit worried with a lot of moves that the Raiders made during the cuts. All right, Manny Villegas, what's up? How did Corey Littleton and Trayvon Mullen do in training camp? Well, I mean... We talked about Corey and Trayvon quite a bit. Trayvon battled a few injuries here and there. Corey did exactly what he needed to do. So a lot of times you don't see a lot of reports around players like Corey Littleton or like Trayvon Mullen because they go out, they do their job. There's no storylines there. But when it comes to a guy like, I don't know, Arden Key, who there's a lot of question marks around, or like a Javen White, they were always trying to make headlines. That's what the media tries to do. So Corey Littleton did really well. Trayvon Mullen battled a few injuries, but he's still the number one cornerback here on this team. Manny, if you're looking for the perfect package, well, I got you hooked up here. Raider Nation, take advantage of this deal. Manscaped.com slash Raiders is how you get it. 20% off and free shipping on the best male grooming products on the Internet. What comes in that perfect package? Ball toner, ball deodorant. I got it on right now, and I'm uh, not sweating it. You also get the Lawnmower 3.0 Plus for free, which is included, the boxers and the traveling kit. If y'all plan on going somewhere, maybe for the holidays, I don't know, if you're going on a weekend trip, that traveling case, super, super helpful. The Lawnmower 3.0 is the best male grooming tool out there. You can get the perfect package and everything that I just showed y'all and talked about at manscaped.com slash Raiders. 20% off and free shipping. And to make your life a little bit easier, we'll put the link in the comments and in the description. All right, Devin, y'all need to get a picture. Who do you think will have a better game one, Josh Jacobs or McCaffrey? Ooh, boy, wow. Um, I mean, if I'm just going to be honest with y'all, in terms of total yards, I will give the advantage to Christian McCaffrey because the Carolina Panthers need Christian McCaffrey more than the Raiders need Josh Jacobs because McCaffrey's that entire offense. I mean, you're looking at a player last year had 116 catches and had, I believe, like 1,300 rushing yards. So... He's going to get a lot of work whether they're winning, whether they're losing. So in terms of who's going to have the better game, I'll go Christian McCaffrey, especially in fantasy. But who's going to win? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Raiders on that one. So what I want you all to do, predict the score, Las Vegas Raiders against the Carolina Panthers. Get your votes in here. I probably shouldn't have had a blue cup on today's show now that I'm thinking about it. Going, uh, <laughs> it's doesn't not, not a good color scheme. So Las Vegas Raiders or Carolina Panthers, what do you got for me? Jacob T says 28 to 10, 27 14 from Kenneth Nixon, 45 23 from KC, 28 17 Tyler, and then Liam, 24 14 Raiders win. Andrew, you're next up here on the Raiders Report. Make sure that you guys like the video. I would definitely appreciate that. Only 133 likes right now and close to, what, 838 people watching. So if you could, I would appreciate it. It tells my bosses that, hey, you guys actually like watching the show. Will Brian Edwards have a better rookie season than C.D. Lamb? No. Uh, as much as I'm very excited to see Brian Edwards play, if y'all haven't already, go check out my video where I break down the top five receiving yard leaders for the Raiders this upcoming season. C.D. Lamb, he might be the wide receiver three on the Cowboys. The Cowboys are going to throw the football a lot more. So in terms of just overall, I guess, chances, CeeDee Lamb's going to get a lot more targets. He's going to get a lot more opportunity than Brian Edwards. And I understand that Brian Edwards is going to be the X receiver. He's going to be the wide receiver too. But he is also going to lose a lot to Darren Waller. He's going to lose a lot to Hunter Renfro. And, yes, 
yes, even guys like Zay Jones, Nelson Aguilar, they're going to pitch in here and there. But for the Cowboys, C.D. Lamb, to me, in terms of rookies and like overall finishing, it wouldn't surprise me if C.D. finished with the most receiving yards out of any rookie wide receiver. Dale Webb, what's up, my man? Is there any free agent quarterbacks that you would sign? Apparently, EA Sports would sign Colin Kaepernick to about 17 NFL teams. But uh, for me right now, I'd have to look at it. But if you're looking for a quarterback at this point, it's not good. So right now, the Raiders already have invested, I believe, $31.6 million in the quarterback position. It might be a little bit more now after the Kaiser move. But are there any free agent quarterbacks at this point? No, I, I would actually rather just... Rock and roll with what we got, and hopefully Marcus Mario can get his shit together. If they do, I promise you, I will let you know. So I want you to subscribe to the Raiders Report right now where we cover the latest Raiders news and rumors. We do live shows like, I don't know, a Lynn Bowden Jr. trade. We brought it to you and gave it to you as quick as we possibly could. And if you also want to watch the Raiders Report live every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific, we do live shows every single Tuesday. So if you could... Hit that sub button. If you are already sub, make sure that you send this show to all your friends. I would definitely, definitely appreciate that. Super chat time. Remember, when you super chat, we put you on the show. Mark Morrison, Mitch, no disrespect to Booker. Bring back DeAndre Washington. He knows the system, and he did a good job filling in for Jacobs. So this is actually an idea that I said right away. However, the Chiefs, I believe, brought DeAndre Washington back to their practice squad. So potentially, if the Raiders wanted to get Washington, You'd have to, you know, now trade for him, basically. But, or, yeah, you'd have to figure out a way to go out and get him. But bottom line is this. I, I agree with you that I think DeAndre Washington is a better running back than Devontae Booker. Jake Powers. What do you think Mariota's trade value would be if he got traded? Not a lot. I mean, you're looking at a player that basically got replaced by Ryan Tannehill. For a, his contract, very steep. I mean, when you look at a lot of these other moves, I mean, you're paying Cam Newton a potential to make up to $7.5 million, or you're going to already just pay Marcus Mariota $7.5. I mean, when I look at the quarterback values now, the Raiders just disgustingly overpaid for Marcus Mariota. I mean, that's just that's the truth. So in terms of trade value, I mean, honestly, if you can get like a fifth, maybe a sixth-round pick at this point, because the fact that Josh Rosen didn't get anything, I don't know. So for me, I would say fifth, sixth, and at that point, the Raiders, though, they're not going to trade Mariota for that. So who wants $25 or doll hairs? Name that movie. Reply to my pinned tweet. All you got to do right now, go to Twitter, at MitchellRens365, and if you reply to my pinned tweet, follow the instructions, you have a chance to win $25. So I'll let you do that. And if you want, we'll put the link so it's a little bit easier for you all in the, in the comment section. I'll also throw it in the description if that makes it easier for you. So if I see somebody said, I don't have Twitter. Well, maybe, maybe getting $25 is a chance uh, you'll make one. All you got to do, reply to my pinned tweet. I would appreciate that. At Mitchell Renz, uh 365 for a chance to win $25. So at the end of my mailbags here, I do always tell people, hey, if I missed your question, hit me up on Instagram. Here's some people who have recently followed me, and I'm going to start giving more shout-outs to people. So Rico, or Rico Darner, Mick, Ice Dude 75 Iceman85. Uh, appreciate you all for the follow, and if you want to shout-out on the Raiders Report, Hit me up on IG and DM me your question. All right, another uh, super chat here. Farrell will have a breakout season, so therefore the D-line will be better. You know what? I hope that's the case, personally. Um, I would love to see that. It's just, what is a breakout season? Because a breakout season for a player drafted number four overall to me is double-digit sacks. I don't see that happen with Cleveland, and I think one of the reasons is because, no offense to him, it was a little bit of a reach at that point you know, spot, and I think you're kind of seeing that a little bit with a lot of the moves the Raiders tried to make this offseason. So, do I have hope in him? Is he going to be better? Yes. Breakout, though, I won't go that far. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.